Hello, and this is Bogas Reviews, and today I'm doing another Star Wars 40th Anniversary Black Series review. And today I'm reviewing the Princess Leia action figure. I think Hasbro did a really great job with this. And from what I've heard, it's better than the first Black Series one. But the face sculpt on this, it, it just looks like Carrie Fisher. I think Hasbro did an amazing job with this action figure. And I even like the soft goods robe. I thought maybe it'd be better if they would have went with a sculpted robe. But I, I like this better. It's just a really amazing toy. So before we take a look at Princess Leia, let's take a look at her accessories. She comes with the standard Imperial rifle. It's the same as what came with Jyn Erso and Han Solo. But this one has a gray piece right here. I said in my uh, Han Solo video that I thought it had a little like a patch of silver right here and I was right. And I'm glad that Hasbro included that in on this one. It looks complete now. <laughs> it's just a nitpick honestly. but. And then she comes with her Rebel Silencer pistol. I really like it. They did great on the sculpting on it. It's all one color. I, but I would have liked if they would have did like a dry brushing of gun metal over it. But of course that's just a nitpick of mine again. So this is the Princess Leia toy. And I think Hasbro did an amazing job with this. I like the sculpting on it. I like the paint. Now I know a lot of things on the Star Wars Black series is the eyes won't be painted on gray, but I think the eyes are great on this one. And the lipstick too. The uh, one Ray action figure I have, like her lips are all the way up her cheek. It doesn't look right. But Hasbro did great with this and they didn't miss any of the paint detail. I think the sculpting on the hair is great. Hasbro did really great with this. But this is my only complaint with the figure is this big bulky hood. And, like, if you put it over her head to where it's supposed to be, then, uh, yeah, there. <laughs> that doesn't look right. It can kind of stay like that, but it still kind of goes like that in a point. And, uh, her belt's removable, so what I do is just tuck it under the belt and then just fasten it over it. So, so it's an easy fix, but I, I really wish that they would have uh, fixed it some way that you could make it go over her head and stay, uh, like this, like in the movie. That would have been great. But it's kind of bulky and just does that. Now I really like the articulation on this figure because if you look she actually has double jointed elbows and with a lot of the female figures Hasbro only does single jointed elbows because they, I, I have no idea why really, but I think that this figure really benefits from the double jointed elbows because as you could see I could get her in a position where she was holding her gun with this hand and holding the bottom of it with this hand and you can never get the female figures into position like that so I really love that the articulation is great on this too I'll go over her articulation now she has a ball jointed head that can move all the way back, an improvement from the uh, first one made too. She can move her head all the way down, and she can move side to side. I really love the articulation on the head on this because you can get a great range of motion from it. She has ball jointed shoulders that move out really far. She has a swivel with the bicep, double jointed elbow, and she has a swivel wrist that swivels up and down. I really like that too because for figures that hold guns, I like to have them to where their wrists will move up and down like that, not just back and forth. And they'll move side to side. It's the same with this side. She's got a ball jointed diaphragm that can move down this much. And back really far. She doesn't have a swivel at the waist because of that. And that's fine because I think it would hinder this. This would hinder the articulation. She's got ball jointed hips that can move out that much she has a swivel at the thigh now it is a little like tough to move it the swivel at the thigh but I wouldn't really worry about because you know you probably won't get her into too many poses like that she has a double jointed knee she's got ankle swivel and great ankle pivot so this figure is really great and, and another thing is they actually sculpted the boots on and painted it completely. I figured like they'd actually just since the 
her dress or her robe is always like this. I, I didn't figure they'd like sculpt it out. I figured it'd just be like smooth and not be actually sculpted out, but it, it is sculpted out. And now uh, another thing I was afraid of with this toy is when toys have small hands like this, they can't hold like big accessories like this. But Princess Leia can hold this and hold it in this hand perfectly without stretching the hand out because I know like the Jen or so her hand is really stretched out from putting the rifle in it so you can't put her pistol in her hand so I really like that with this toy I, I don't know if it's just a stronger plastic that they made the hands out of but I really love that Hasbro did that now here's a size comparison next to the other Star Wars Black Series figure 40th anniversary one that I've already reviewed and I think the height difference is really good on these two because Princess Leia is a lot shorter than Han Solo, and Han Solo is taller than her. Well, she's not a lot shorter, but she's shorter than him. So I think Hasbro did great with the size on these two. And I just think this looks like Carrie Fisher, and it, it's an honor, you know, to Carrie Fisher. So, I would highly recommend this toy, and I would check it out. I'll leave a link in the description below as to where you can buy it, and give a link to Hasbro.com. So if you like this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.